Hi everybody, welcome back to another awesome day, another awesome vlog. As you can see, I'm back at my cemetery today, but I've found a new location. They're actually having a funeral here today, so there are a lot of people and a lot of music and noise going on where I normally record, but I actually found this new location that has this beautiful waterfall behind me, and I think it's a great addition to my video. So let's get started on a Lakers update and NBA playoff update video. The first thing I wanna update you on is the lawsuit against Luke Walton, the former head coach of the Lakers. I spoke just briefly about that in my last video, but I wanted to let you know that Luke Walton is absolutely fighting this and saying that he's going to be taking it to court. The allegations against Luke Walton were made by Kelly Tennant a reporter for Spectrum Sportsnet. Um, she indicated that he was very flirty with her in the beginning and that some very inappropriate things took place in a hotel room back while he was coaching for the Golden State Warriors. And she has made very clear her intention to move forward with these allegations and take them to court as well. She feels that he was completely inappropriate and misused his power as the head coach and feels very strongly about her case. He is not backing down. He actually has a really, really tough LA-based attorney, Mark Bott. I think that's how you pronounce his last name. And he is known for his hard-nosed reputation and he has indicated that he is definitely taking this to court. There will be no settlement, that they feel that the allegations are completely false and that they will win in court. The allegations that were made um, they have indicated took place while Luke Walton was coaching for the Golden State Warriors. Obviously since then he went to coach for the Lakers and now he's coaching with the Sacramento Kings. The Sacramento Kings have opened their own investigation as well just to look into it and make sure that everything is okay but there has been a lot of heat on him. He's just taken a new job and basically they're stating that you know his job is going to be obviously dependent on the outcome of this lawsuit but at this point they are backing him the Golden State Warriors have indicated that they knew nothing about the allegation while he was coaching for the team they have also indicated that this is the first they've heard of it and that they aren't going to comment any further other than that they knew nothing about it while he was their coach the Lakers have also indicated the same that since leaving Golden State Warriors going on to the Lakers they knew nothing about the allegations while he was coaching for the Los Angeles Lakers and like I indicated in a previous video the Lakers are standing behind Luke Walton and are hopeful that this is a positive resolution for him and that the allegations are found to be false and untrue. As far as the Sacramento Kings are concerned, he is still employed as the head coach and as long as things go well with this case, he will remain as the head coach. This could be a very, very long process. They've indicated that um, it could be months and months before this even is set for a hearing to move forward with trial. And generally these things do take a long time. But for now, he's gonna stick with the Sacramento Kings. Hopefully his place as the head coach there will not be jeopardized because of this. And hopefully he can move forward and just continue coaching them. Now let's talk about the new Lakers head coach. There has been some speculation that Ty Lu is in the front running at this point. Even Phil Jackson has made a statement that that would be his choice, that he stands behind Ty Lu and that he feels like that is the best choice for the Los Angeles Lakers head coach. And it does look like that will hopefully be moving forward, but a final decision has not been made. Even Jason Kidd, who was in the running for the head coach position, has as well made a comment that he thinks that Ty Lue would do a wonderful job coaching the Lakers. There has been a lot of talk that because LeBron James played with Ty Lue on the Cleveland Cavaliers for multiple years, that now LeBron James and his camp are running things. Um, but that could be beneficial because LeBron James is very talented. Obviously, there were a lot of games won and championships finals won under Ty Lue. So I'm hoping that they will be a good combination. And I really feel positive about Ty Lue coming on as the head coach. And I think that that could be a great thing for the Lakers. Hopefully that ends up working out and he is their choice. But as I find out any further information, I will be sure to let you know. Now on to news on the NBA playoffs. 
as I indicated in my last video, we have moved on to the second phase of the playoffs, heading toward the finals, and the Golden State Warriors are playing the Houston Rockets. Like I also mentioned, the Houston Rockets have some amazing players. Not only do they have Chris Paul and James Harden, but they also have some other amazing players that have come in and proven that they are able to make three-point shots better than the Warriors, which I have to say for me is quite shocking because I feel like the Warriors are some of the best three-point shooters, but the Rockets have them frazzled at this point. The Rockets have shown that they can clearly come in and take over the court even when the Warriors are ahead and playing wonderfully. But I will tell you the last couple of games have been really, really tough for the Golden State Warriors. Right now, um, in the second phase, Golden State Warriors have won two games and the Rockets have won two games. So it's tied and we are going into the fifth game tonight. Today is Wednesday, May 8th, and there is a game tonight. It is a home game for the Golden State Warriors. They've been in Houston for the last two games, so I'm hoping that now they will come home to their own crowd, their own fans, and they will cheer them on to play their best. I'm hoping that we really, really see the best come out in the Golden State Warriors in their game tonight. They really need a win because at this point, it's tied. It could go either way. and going into the second phase with this matchup i would have believed that it would have been a hard matchup and that both teams would have played hard but i really believe the golden state warriors were going to have a much easier go at it and that they were going to be ahead at this point the fact that the golden state warriors are tied with the houston rockets is a little concerning the rockets have really proven to the golden state warriors that they can come in and that they mean business and that they want to win this series. They want to be the team that moves on to the third phase of the playoffs and potentially to the finals. Well, that's what every team wants. Some teams are not good enough to actually prove that. But the Houston Rockets have been proving that that is the case. It is amazing. They have a player named Tucker who is able to make three-point shots. They have, of course, Harden who makes unbelievable three-point shots just about any time he wants. Harden was injured in game two of this series of the playoffs. Draymond Green accidentally during a play poked him in both of his eyes. Harden had to go off the court. There was blood coming from his eyes and it was clear that he was very, very injured. The initial contact caused a contusion in both eyes for James Harden and a laceration on his left eyelid. After game two, he did tell reporters that he could barely see for the rest of the game after the injury, but that he would absolutely be playing in game three, that nothing was gonna stop him. Clearly, he did come back out and showed that he was there to win. Even these injuries are not going to even slow him down. James Harden came back out on the court in the next game, clearly ready to play, and within the first five minutes, Draymond Green poked him in his right eye, but nonetheless poked him in the eye once again. It was very clear by the end of the game that these two players were very frustrated with each other and there were words exchanged. Um, it has been very intense between these two teams. They both want it so bad and it's going to be very interesting to see where this goes and which team comes out on top moving on to play to move into the finals it's amazing how hard they're playing and how much they both want this so I'm excited to watch the game tonight I'm excited to see which team comes out on top tonight the Golden State Warriors really need a win especially because they're coming back home I'm hopeful that tonight will be the night for another win for them moving them forward and ahead into this section of the playoffs. By the time this video is posted, of course, tonight's game will be over, but this video should be going up on Friday morning, May 10th, and there is another game on Friday, May 10th. They will be back in Houston playing the Rockets on their home court once again. The game will be aired on ESPN, and at this point when I'm filming this video, the time is still to be determined. I'm sure it's based on other teams and who's gonna be moving forward, where they're gonna be playing, and so forth. So if you're interested in watching that game, which when you're watching this video will be tonight for you, obviously you can go ahead and look that up and see on ESPN what time it will be today, Friday, May 10th, for you to check out. 
Like I said, I'm still rooting for the Golden State Warriors, but I really have enjoyed watching the Rockets and they do have some amazing players. So if the Houston Rockets were to move ahead, that's who I'll be following for the Western Conference at this point. But I'm still hopeful. You know how much I love those Golden State Warriors. They just need to get it together, come out strong tonight, play hard and win, and then do it again on Friday. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed these updates. I'm still looking forward to finding out who the new Lakers head coach will be. I am hopeful that they find someone who will be a wonderful fit for everyone and help bring the Lakers to the playoffs and the finals next season. Don't forget to smash the thumbs up button and don't forget to subscribe. Bye!